Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about um, we're gonna be talking about cancel culture. So this is gonna be one of those um, social issue kind of postings. So if you're not into that, um, by all means, um, we have plenty of other videos for you to watch. So you guys are more than welcome to uh, partake in that. So, um. I know with everything that's going on right now, um, there's there's a lot of movement on um, calling out and boycotting and distancing and what's known as canceling um, people who um, are either supporting racist tropes and racist ideas and spreading that toxicity or people who are just ambivalent to it. And it's a thing, it, it happens. Um, but here's the thing, there's a difference between calling out the person who is, you know, spewing that, uh, versus people who um, are kind of caught between the person who's doing the canceling and the person who who is the the anti-racist and the person who um you know is is really making the strives to make things better and the racist themselves now this is coming because i'm actually making this post and originally i was going to write a big script and try and do a full production thing but it's just a case of um well it's a couple of things first of all i'm i've been exhausted lately um I've been pulling lots of overtime, and uh, I gotta work. And also, it's a case of I don't know when I would actually find time to sit down and record it. So, um, I granted it's like one o'clock in the morning, one thirty in the morning, excuse me. And I was just like, listen, you know what? Um, I'm gonna strike while the iron's hot, and while my brain is is set on this, and uh, I'm gonna talk about. It. So, um, I've been seeing several instances of situations where um people are caught between um the public or you know industry members or other family members and racist family and um it's a tough position to be in because especially if you're a person who considers yourself an anti-racist or pro BLM or pro Antifa or whatever you, whatever you are, you're definitely in the progressive camp. You're trying to make the forward strides. You're trying to encourage the forward strides. You're trying to speak out against racism and fascism and just general hatred and and the system and everything else. So, um, what it is is a case of. Uh, how I how I'm viewing this is this: if somebody directly is saying something, call out that person. Calling out the family member of that person feels a little disingenuous, and it also feels like trying to force compliance where you're not going to get it. Because here's the thing: um, not everybody's family situation is clear. None, and, nothing, and, and family situations have a rarity of being so clear cut as being like, well, you know what? If you're not going to be progressive, then that's it. I'm cutting you off. It's not generally that easy. There's a lot of things. There's baggage. I mean, this is your freaking family at this point. You're talking about people that, you, you know, brought you into this world. People who helped raise you, helped shape you for better or for worse. And being forced by public pressure to cut your ties to your family um, because of positions that they hold is difficult. It is, it is beyond tough, okay? The only people who should be making the decision of, of that silencing, that canceling, that, that cut off between uh, a, a racist or conservative or whatever you want to call it, family member, and then the progressive family member is those two family members. Those are the only people who should be getting that influence. Maybe other people in the family, but really, it should not be coming from an external source. 
<clears throat> to be calling out one person for not calling out the other family member is it's not your place okay you can call out the racist family member directly that's fine putting somebody who is constantly vocal someone who is constantly doing their best to make sure that the progress is made that the systems are are checked and voting and making you know donations and protests and everything and doing everything they can that's in their power and their ability and in their in their not only their physical ability but also in their actual physical mental and emotional ability to call them out and make them the bad guy it not only hurts the entire movement because once we set that as a precedent you're going to make everything harder because then it's a case of you're going to have situations where people are really tight with their family and they're like listen you know my, my, my parents were raised conservative and they were raised this way and and i and i see that as a problem but they're still my family they're still my parents they're still my whatever i i don't want to lose that what about people who are also in a situation where they're progressive the family or their adults or the um, the parents or whoever are conservative but the parents are still in a position to fiscally float the progressive if they are like they're providing daycare they're providing medical help they're providing whatever that progressive needs to say well you either need to um uh uh you know cancel them or 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 you're part of the problem doesn't help okay um and I, and I say this with all sincerity. There's a big difference between calling out the offensive person directly and then trying to use an offensive person or use the progressive person as leverage against them. Don't do that, okay? Um, there needs to be a better system for that. And I think the idea of turning it into a a binary system of you either for us or you again us is not going to work okay um i think that there needs to be understanding of the gray that is in between and i think there needs to be understanding of the fact that nothing in this world really is so cut and dry nothing is so black and white so um having seen this several times there was an incident, um, I guess at this point now, yesterday, that I got caught up on, um, that finally, that was my breaking point of, okay, something I can address, something I can get up on my soapbox and talk about. Um, there, it just kills me, because it feels, it feels like, honestly, the progressive movement stabbing itself in the foot, um, or shooting itself in the foot, or doing something to our feet um we're using like like putting pressure on progressives to either you know um denounce family members or or you're not obviously some sort of like progressive it, it's a false equivalency it's a false um it's a false litmus test okay because here's the thing again family is is messy family is complicated so um just be understanding okay realize you don't know as much as you may know about a family structure you know your your friend your coworker your industry partner your industry affiliate your industry associate whatever the whatever the case of this relationship is between you and the progressive and you and the the conservative the racist the whatever you don't know the relationship between the two of them as much as you may think as much as they may have related you have not lived it it is not your experience it is not your life you can't screw with it okay because here's the thing if you're gonna make them make a choice between your movement and their family blood is thicker than water chances are 
you're going to lose a progressive. You're going to lose a voice. You're going to lose somebody who's got action and somebody who can take action because they're going to be like, well, maybe this isn't what I should be backing. Maybe this isn't what I should be supporting. Okay? So, I think I've spoken long enough, but um, it is something I wanted to put out there. So, um, guys, be safe, be well, be good to each other, and um, again, keep keep fighting the good fight because um, if the news is any indicator, it looks like it looks like things are changing this time around, and it looks like things are moving in the right direction finally. So, I mean, you can't make up for past injustices. The past is the past, but what we can do is start writing new chapters, new, better more inclusive, diverse chapters. Okay? All right, guys. Um, again, be safe, be well, and be good to each other. Love you all. Bye.